we oh that's a big bump oh four hours from the top and we had to turn around and hightail at home which is a little bit devastating it is so we're on the road again yeah i can't wait to be on the road again <laughs> so we left the dane tree today now for anyone wanting to go to the Dane Tree, everyone whinges about the Bloomfield track and we did a little bit of it and it's actually not so bad, is it? No, it's not. But the road from the ferry up to the Dane Tree track is kind of crap if you've got a caravan on. It's very, um... It's not that bad. It, it is narrow. But if you take your time, stick to the speed limits and just watch your van, it's easy enough. But it's narrow and windy. Yeah, it's course. narrow and windy. Like really narrow. Wanna go get some lunch? Our first stop on the way to the Cape was of course the Han River Roadhouse. We absolutely love this place and have been a few times now. They're very friend family friendly and they have lots of animals around for the kids to enjoy including a very friendly emu. The grass sites are very big and open, it's pet friendly and it just has a really nice vibe. Really check it out if you're down that way. Good camp. Good camp. Yeah. Pretty good. Friendly neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to get a move on. It's starting to rain, but this is our site. Pretty good. That's Laura and Scott. We're travelling with them. That's huge. Yeah, Han River 
Roadhouse. That's a really great spot. You should check it out. You can um, you can feed the peacocks and the emu, and it's just a really nice spot. Oh, that's a big bump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we are now on the way to Cohen, and the roads are better than we thought they were going to be. Oh, it's a lot better than they were last time we did this game. However, they are still get bumpy. I'm holding the GoPro because I haven't put it in the cradle, and you can see how much I'm moving. And uh, yeah, the car. Corrugations are pretty bad. They were not bad for a while, but um, yeah, here we go. We're getting there. Oh, this looks like fun. Crossing. Little river crossing, yeah. Oh, oh, geez. Talk about some bumps. Rocky water, wasn't it? Ugh. So, yeah, we're on the red dirt. Uh, we're driving to Cohen today. We're not sure how much further past we're going, maybe up to Archer. We'll just see what the roads are like. The people we're traveling with have never done the Cape before, so this is all new to them. So, I don't know how much they're going to want to do with this driving. Yeah, it's very taxing driving car again. Potholes and bumps and rocks. And yeah, it does take it out of you very quickly. That's it. So we'll just see how the boys feel. Ooh, but yeah. Well, that's a big pothole for him to go through. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Slow down. We just got to Cullen, we're doing a quick lunch break, but let's just see how bad it is inside the van. We've taped up all the holes, but it's the first time we've been on proper corrugations and dirt. So it's, uh, she's a bit red. Actually pretty, pretty good. I'm impressed. The uh, table, it's fallen guys, that's it. Cool. So our blind has fallen down and there is uh, some dust in the, the doorway. But yeah, otherwise we're good. All right, so this is the Northern Bend campsite, a little bit, what, two minutes north of Cohen? Yeah. Yeah, that's so anyway, car and van and then How's this for free? How's it going? So. This is our new fire pit. Yeah. First time we've used it. The boys have collected some firewood. It's not gonna be any shiny and new anymore. Okay, so we made it to the telegraph track. Hey, we'll go see some four-wheel drives. Yeah. yeah, look at your face. Oh my goodness. Um, Can we, our car down there? we will. You excited? Go watch the people get bogged. Yeah. Just wanted we can't do it this year. No, not this year. We'll explain what's happened soon, but we uh, we're going home tomorrow. And we're not at the tip, so no. we're 400k short of the tip, and we have to turn back. Not even 260k's, but four hours. Four hours. And yeah, we're turning around, so we'll explain why. It's a bit of a devastating story, but um, you know, we'll just go check out other people doing some silly things today. The old telegraph track. Old telegraph track. The sign hasn't even changed since last time. Laura and Scott are just getting some fuel. And then, uh, and Park is getting fuel. yeah, Parker's getting fuel, and then we'll head off. Bye. 
I look up in you. Like pretty funny, isn't it, buddy? So up in Cape York, you're going to come across these structures. Now these are actually termite mounds and they're, I'm not sure if you can see, they're sort of dotted all over the place, but we're, just, we're going to show you how big they are because it's actually insane. So here we go. Here we go. Hudson is next to the, um, the ant house and it is yeah. quite massive in comparison. Yeah. Hey, how cool. Yeah. And there? What did we just do? Watch the full drives getting bogged in the water. Did you like watching it? Yeah, did they get out of the water? How did they get out? Seven. Really? Yeah. Awesome. So what's, what's just happened is we were going to come back from Palm Creek to uh, Bramwell and it's a one-way track pretty much and so coming back we were going to have to pull off a lot for everyone coming through and right as we were leaving four camper trailers left and they left in a convoy and they just radioed the whole way back four camper trailers are coming in like if you could just move over and let us through blah 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 and the track's been clear the whole way <laughs> the whole way back. Yeah. So all the guys with the campers from ACT, thank you so much. So as we said, um, we actually have to head home tomorrow. Again, some things have happened we'll talk about. Uh, so we have a dinner book tonight. So we're staying today and we're just going to go up to Fruitbat Falls and have a look at that to fill in the day. And then we'll head back. Um, we're actually having dinner at Bramwell Station tonight. They put on a big feed. That was all pre-booked a little while ago. So we had to stay for that. And then, yeah, we'll start heading home tomorrow. What you doing? Putting some more air out. Mm. Corrugations are getting kind of crap. Yeah, it wasn't too bad for the first, what, 50 k's? Yeah. Now they're getting pretty hectic and the tires are actually heating up again, so I'm dropping the pressures again. We started at 35 on the rear and 20 on the front. The back was back up to 40 and the front was up to 25 again. So we just dropped another 5 or 10 out of it. Mm, make it a bit more comfortable. Yeah. Break less things, hopefully. Less rattling. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see our corrugation here. 
These are pretty good, these ones. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Fruit Bat Falls, 2.7 Ks. Right there, looks like a perfect spot to go swimming. It does, doesn't it? Okay, then you just throw the bag up on the bank. Yeah. Too much. Can you carry me? Carry you? Can you come in? Come here. I could put his swimmers on, but. Doesn't matter. Right, Ready? Jump. Hey, feet down. Hey, feet down. You can stand. See, so you can still stand. How's that? It's fine. <laughs> can you stand? Yeah. Just walk. Nice. Nice and cold. Yeah. Alright, that is going in. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think it's easier just to jump in normally. Yeah, darling. You want me to come in? Yeah. I don't have any spare clothes. Neither do I. You want me to come in? Cold? Yeah. yeah. Now you have a child. Now I have a child, so I have to. I'm gonna hold your hand so you don't fall. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Jump! Feet down. Feet down. You can reach. And then just dunk. Let me just traumatize myself. <laughs> That's a really long drive on corrugation, so everything's gonna be like rubbing. <laughs> We really didn't think this through, so sure we did. should add. So we've come here from Bramwell. From Bramwell, it was like 80 k's. It took like two hours. <laughs> We're only here for, for probably an hour, and then we've got to go back. We got dinner booked. We bought Hudson swimmers, but he's not in them. We did not bring our swimmers, and we opened up the fridge to eat lunch today, and our wraps had gone mouldy, so we had to eat chips for lunch. So we've really, really done well this morning for. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's out of depth for a pool, he can't touch anymore. You can't touch. Having fun? Blop, 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 blop. I am in! Mummy's in swimming as well. Alright, full dunk. Dunk? Full dunk. It's not that bad once you're under. Let's have a fish bite in my shirt. Cold. Yeah, on a it's... nice hot day, this would be perfect for drinking. Yeah, probably really, really decent. But... <laughs> like, the, the rocks around here are only maybe ankle deep underwater. So you bring an esky, you can sit on the rocks while you float around in these deep pools, and, and you like... get drinks all day. And the car park's full. Oh, yeah. like, we had to park in the trailer parking, so someone's going to hang up. And we've still got a whole pool to ourselves up here. And we haven't even gone down to the bottom of the waterfall yet. Yes. Although we did say to Hudson, let's go walk on top of the waterfall. And he was like, I don't want to fall. So that took a little bit of convincing that he wasn't going to fall.
Uh, Dion's just, a, uh, what's the word? Acquiring. Acquiring some spare parts for somebody. For you. No, not for us. For the man. A bit of backstory. Uh, we're coming back from Fruit Bat and passed a couple and they broke down the side of the road and lost the bolts out of their brake caliper. And it was just hanging there. So, trying to steal some bolts out of these brake calipers. Possibly the brake caliper itself, because he's got a Holden Colorado, I think it is. This is a Holden Frontiera. Brakes might not be the same, but the bolts should at least work through it. Hopefully, we'll see. And if he's lucky, the caliper might work as well. Um, so, Dion did help him on the side of the road. We managed, well, he went into the bush and cut a bit of a tree down. And they used a ratchet strap to somehow put all that together. He could, um, and we're just following him back to Bramwell quite slowly to make sure, obviously, it doesn't fall back off. But yeah, we're driving past, and I saw a car on its side over in the bushes, and we've had a look, and yeah, it just happens to be a Holden as well. So fingers crossed, this might help this poor guy get back on the road. We'll see. pretty happy they're back here and I uh, don't know if you can see that but fuel is two dollars eighty nine point nine a litre so I was gonna say two ninety two ninety a litre not cheap mm. Mm. All right, so while Dan's having a drink, I'm gonna set the scene uh, in case you guys had forgotten, it's been a while. We ordered a caravan in November, 2020. It was supposed to arrive August, 2021. So that is now exactly 12 months ago. We still don't have our van. So when we left on this trip, we told you all we got a higher van. So what actually happened was the caravan company promised us guaranteed us, told us our van was being built and it would be delivered to us in April. We sold our house. We called them the day it was supposed to arrive and they were like, what are you talking about? We, your van's not here. And they called us back and the chassis was not even built. And they were like, yeah, your van won't be ready for a couple of months. Um, I went in, got quite emotional when I was in there but he organized for us to loan a van so we could not be homeless and we could start our trip so and we set off on our trip thinking we we were originally going to Bundaberg weren't we yeah we're gonna go to Bundaberg we're gonna like do it over a couple of weeks come back and pick up our van and every couple of weeks it got pushed back so we went further and further north and that's how we ended up in Cape York and then got turned around four hours from the tip so we get to Bramwell so we're four hours from the top Four hours from our photo, probably a week tops to get up there because we were going to stop a few yeah, times on the yeah. way. We were, um, we, were for, we were planning on doing parts of the Telegraph track, like camp at Bramwell, then do the southern half, camp at the halfway, do the northern half, then go over the Jardine and spend three, four days up there just exploring up there, seeing five beaches, all the fun places you want to go. So instead we get to Bramwell and they had only a couple of days before we got to Bramwell, they had contacted us and said our van was pushed out yet again. 
and that they wanted an extra $20,000 to build our van. But they are also saying that they can't build our van to what we ordered. Yeah, so we ordered through a custom caravan company who have now advised us that they can no longer do custom builds and apparently that applies to orders from two years ago. Yeah. So anyway, there's there's a lot obviously more to that. This Anyway, we were obviously quite upset. Um, won't go into too much detail, but we did obviously have a bit of a, a dispute with them about that. They have then decided that they will only deal with us in person. They said your van's on hold. We've taken your build out of the queue. Yep. We will not be building your van until you come back. And demanded we come back to... They didn't demand that we come back. They demanded to see their van in person. Yeah. Yeah. Not great. We're not great. Basically. No. Hey. Mm, just making me sad thinking about it all again. I don't know. Yeah. The van we have on older, it, they, they do produce quality vans. You know, we've met, sorry, we've met many people in caravan parks who've received theirs and although they hate the service they've received they've all all been super happy with their vans haven't they but the vans themselves aren't the problem so we'll keep you updated but we're yeah like i said we're a bit upset 